But if you just if you tried it and you got no, it, I think it's literally just could not be bothered to learn. Okay, uh, the camera is running. Uh, I propose that we sign the attendance sheet in parallel. Does that sound fine? Yep. In parallel. Uh, so, our agenda for this evening is uh, both your apologies, reading the minutes from the last year's meeting, uh, seeing if there's any objections and our belief of inaccuracy, uh, going through some information about uh, how things have gone in the last year electing uh, new positions, and then uh, any general business or unscheduled business. And then at seven, there'll be a thunderstorm and flash flooding uh, yeah. outside. So, thankfully we should get that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll walk it as my expectations in the room. Hopefully the pits will be there by then. When do we expect that to arrive? I don't know, if you open up another tab, I think it's a progress point. It's a progress point. Oh, 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 <laughs> Where is the PowerPoint? You have to click present because it's uh, Google Drive. What if we were this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be worse. <laughs> so I can't see either of the sets of information. Um, so apologies from Jayesh, uh, he's currently overseas, um, and Alex, uh, who is unable to attend, who's been nominated for the 20th century secretary. Uh, here is last year's minutes. Um, I won't read all these out, but I will uh, put this in the two types and allow you to read it, and then when everybody's ready to move on, we will. Nobody reads the terms and conditions. I accept. Looks uh, good to me. To be honest, I don't remember it anyway. Is it? We have also a complete video recording. Yeah. So, um, additionally, uh, this year's uh, meeting will be recorded in better detail than ever before, as it will be recorded in 4K. So, <laughs> it's turned on. For those of you with 4K TVs, this is 60 FPS. There are more frames this year. Last year, there's a chance that potentially we're going to snuck something in quickly. In, a, in between frames, not not this year. Oh, no, wouldn't, it be easier now? <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't it be easier now? Because there's twice as many frames, twice as many positions to sneak things in. <laughs> and speak, speaking of minutes, which is the minutes. Second. Um, yeah, but are we relying on the video? Or? I would rely on the video or are you taking minutes? Um, well, minutes or I can take well, minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not constitutional. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That was also strong. Um, so to start, do you need some time to report but it's just too good? Uh, just give me yeah, two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Did the minutes from last year talk about the guys stacking in on the pizza? No. I believe they I'm did. I'm sure they did. I believe they did. I was president at the time. So I believe it. <laughs> I think it was a requirement. Yeah. I fully expect that the present meetings or uh, minute meetings, minute meetings, minutes, will talk about whether or not pizza is stacked. I think we might just use the guy's name, like, like Wayne Stacker. Why not? 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 Oh, oh yeah, you still have one, yeah. Uh, I it was, okay, so and Alex. Okay, yeah, Okay, yeah. Okay, so Okay, yeah. 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 Uh, cool. Mm -hmm. Announce these some proxies. Right. One proxy is Roland Turner. Roland Turner. I mean, yeah. It's not like it's a proxy. Yeah, what's the proxy? Your, your proxy is? Uh, Tom Knott, <laughs> who's also known as. Uh, Ken's. Tom Knott's. Tom Knott's. Anyone else? Yeah, I've got um, yeah. Alex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is all on the mailing list, so we can go back and get it. Who? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. 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 Um, we didn't put in enough effort or run successful events. Uh, we started off at the beginning of the year by doing the exec camp and uh, doing the uh, club stay and games. Uh, we got 47 sign ups there um, and making some plans, and we didn't really execute on them. That's bad. Uh, I have a full document that I wrote uh, in the planning stages there, which is a lot of pages uh, with a bunch of different ideas and how to execute different requirements and things, and I'll, I don't know how to give people that. I was thinking just giving it to the next exec. Yeah, um, what were you talking about? Um, yeah, highlights. Could open it up, it's not necessarily. Do I have it now? Uh, well, yeah, I did show it to you. Um, where would it be though? Can you share it? I wouldn't have opened it. We didn't buy no, I, just don't, I don't recall seeing this document, so... We went through it in a meeting that we had uh, on Facebook. Yeah. That's a different audio document. I will avoid going through Brendan's documents yeah. now. And after the uh, thing at the end with the general business and schedule business, uh, we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. I will put it up on the screen. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do you want to open the negative elaborate on one of the main reasons why we didn't execute? Yeah. 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 The two main factors are probably uh, people not being uh, on campus to market things, like the times that we did have intent to uh, execute an event, uh, it started with getting a person who was around uh, on campus to do a starter step to get uh, interest, and uh, that just wouldn't happen, or it would be planned and then deferred, and no one uh, was really in a position to actually do it uh, on uh, university grounds. So we are just relying on other people that weren't in the exec to do these things, and they didn't and we didn't either. Uh, which is the result really probably of, Which is the result of most of the exec working full time. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure if JH has been in the country at all this year. He was definitely not <laughs> here at the beginning of the year when we were planning things, and he's definitely not here now. I haven't seen him. I think I saw him once in April. And everybody else <laughs> works full time. Yeah. Um, April last year or April this year? year? <laughs> but he was in the country this year. Yeah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so very much hope that this year we have some people that are... Uh, I think it's a problem of getting the ball rolling. Once we run some successful events, there'll be people that are interested that will be around uh, at you, and that will get things happening, and then we can use those people who are around that are interested in our events. But until you, we put in that initial effort, and I think there is interest out there, um, we don't have those people yet, and we've got caught in that catch um, situation. And then I think as the year went on, we were much like, well, next year, <laughs> um, we'll have other people who are at university grounds, and hopefully they will do uh, a good job or something. <laughs> we didn't necessarily do a good job. What would be your advice to the outstanding exec then? To mitigate that. Aye. Okay. Yeah. So, would you, right. so the, it was the beginning of the year again, and I was going to be uh, in the society again and uh, on the exec, and that was the problem. Uh, I would not have the hope that things were about to change and keep waiting for that to happen, and I would just take some time off work and do it. Like, there was a period where, for like three or four weeks, like just every week there was a scheduled time, and then the person who was scheduled to do that thing. Uh, cancelled on the day or the day before or something, but we'll reschedule for the next time because then eventually you're not. Um, so potentially after the second time of that, probably. Um. Um, so yeah, I was the treasurer of this year. Uh, as Kobe said, we weren't really active this year, so there weren't any expenses over the year. Um, on her day, they did manage to get about 47 sign-ups at $10 each, so 
there was about 470 from that other day. And there's been, I think officially in their account at the moment, there's been two signups from, which call it an alumni. I think Tom yeah. and yeah. I can't remember the other guy's name, but um, wasn't rolling. It's yeah. from someone a few months ago, actually. Yeah, probably that's all that was. Probably, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. And um, then I think there's another one or two pending on that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the rest of it's like another 20, oh uh, yeah, 20 I've explained. The $4 is from interest on the accounts, funnily enough, yeah. And the 8 cents, yeah. Um, I think our main expense this year will actually be for catering for this AGM. Uh, we saw that was about $121. So, yeah, it's that. Um, anyways, it's not really related to my role as treasurer, but um, I guess about midway through this semester, maybe a month or two ago, Tom actually was looking around for ProxSoft stuff, and he got in contact with both Actidate and someone from the FLP, Sheree. Yeah. And he passed on the details, and I've been talking to Sheree, who's a Faculty of Engineering and IT Engagement Officer. And what they've actually been doing at the FLP, the Learning Precinct, I'm not sure what it used to be called in Building 2. Uh, um, they see really good designs at yeah, they yeah. Um, they're actually trying to convert it into a bit of a society kind of spot. So you've got the Engineering Society, Robotics Society, a bunch of other societies, they're all kind of based there. And they're trying to run small meetings, some little things during the day. And besides that, uh, the faculty is actually giving them some support, like advertising for events, potentially funding, all this kind of stuff. Um, and finally, they've actually got quarterly meetings with all of these societies and the faculty. Um, because of, I guess, the lack of activity with um, ProxSoc, we weren't actually invited to these, or they didn't really know we were acting. But now that I've actually been in contact with Sharish, she's assured me that we will be invited to the uh, quarterly meetings for next year. And now that I've established contact, you know, we will actually, she said we're allowed to, you know, book the FLP, it's in the FLP, whenever we need them. She can set up recurring bookings. She's part of the faculty. She can actually help us book stuff in this room. Like, um, for example, I think last year it was proposed that we could potentially use the software development studio. I think we had a kind of unofficial... We actually have the... Okay, okay yeah, we can we use that. We first organized it for the uh, meetup where we had it at Barbara Rockway and didn't use it. Uh, okay. The space is being available to us on that day. Yeah, she confirmed that she would also be able to like, organize that if we needed it. So I think definitely it's not, it's not a permanent room but being able to use the FLP, I think it's a big step towards having something like a room. And importantly, um, they actually do have storage space. So the other societies, for example, Engineering Society, Robotic Society, uh, Engineers Without Borders, they've all actually got cabinets and stuff there, which are used for society. So if we actually do use this space, we might be able to get storage there. In fact, I think they're already storing some of our stuff there. Yeah, like our Amiga stuff. Yeah. The one thing they didn't chuck out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what happened to Sim, by the way. Our stuff was struck down. Mm. Actually, I'm getting a call, so it's probably the answer. Yeah, so I might wrap this up. Uh, we can come back. We'll come back, yeah. yeah. Uh, hello. Alright. Ah, yes. Yeah. Hello. So, I guess, you know, obviously, ProxSoft doesn't have much of a physical room. Thing. Uh, there's not much of uh, it is beyond the network resources that Proxsoft operates. Uh, so there was a major change that this year in that prior to this, uh, prior to around March or so, um, I've been in a position where I was able to offer per location for the Proxsoft server outside of UTS uh, since we haven't arranged for accommodation on campus since uh, we lost our space in building 10. Um, in March, I became unable to offer that anymore, and since Proxoc has moved to the cloud. Um, so, our memory resource is currently hosted in San Francisco on DigitalOcean. Uh, it's currently personally sponsored by me. Uh, I'll be honest, it's not a very sustainable long term. Uh, strategy. So, I mean, next steps that the society even, either needs to find accommodation on campus again yes. uh, to host our own hardware, or we need to wind back uh, the cost of the resources we're providing hosted externally. Um, aside from that, we're still online, still computer. How much is it costing? 
All right, the uh, recurring cost is about 75 US dollars per month. Yes. Under the strain. Have you approached the exec for a refund? Expenses? Yeah. I uh, no. I've just I've just seen the sponsoring it personally so far. Thank you. Yeah. On behalf of um, for what it's worth, I think scaling back what we offer is appropriate anyhow. I don't think uh, things such as shell access really have the same value that they once did. Yeah, what sort of expense do you think we should be aiming at if it's on the cloud? Posted externally, um, I mean, I think we should be able to reel that into to just hosting core services like the mailing list, um, website, and that's pretty And well, the current mail posting as well. And the wiki. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you have a account, I guess. What are you, you going to do about the user spaces? No, it's just the website. You still, no, I think you're still about yeah. cutting that. Oh, yeah. Um, I would like to keep the user hosted websites because I believe there is like some pretty Valuable content posted on those. As opposed to the shell access as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd, like, looking at the actual utilization of the machines, they're barely logged into anyway. Well, yeah, well, yeah, besides that, how much are we looking to save if we go down that path? I, I haven't done analysis on that, but I reckon uh, a big part of the current cost is we're storing all of the home directories that we were on campus, and there are a few uh, very large home directories owned by individuals. Okay, so without those, you think yeah. half the cost? Yeah, we could probably easily go to at least half the cost. Interesting. Okay. Whereas if we switch back to physical hosting on site, I predict it would be very easy to have members donate hardware to cover all of that. Yeah, yeah uh, we still have the server that was used in the co-location. Uh, I currently have that at my house. Yeah. That's not even a problem. Yeah, yeah so hardware's not a problem. Find the rest of it. Yeah, um, realistically we just need to have accommodation on campus somewhere with power and network. And we could basically get it down to zero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and have something to tinker, which I think needs a win win. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Of uh, So now elections, the do you have any nominations for any of these positions? Yes, President Bradley. Second Secretary? Yeah, Alex was Secretary, yes. Alex was Secretary. Yeah. Hello? Hello. 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 Ask a question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so are we going to eat or are we going to watch? Well, okay. let's go to this question. Yeah. yeah. This, yeah. this yeah. might take a minute. Yeah. yeah. We can bring this line back up. Actually, one thing I've got to mention with this FLP, if any of you have been there, but I noticed there's like a soldering room extra. Yeah. Apparently, getting rid of this soldering room and turning it into a society space. So that's also quite interesting. What does the FLP stand for? Uh, Family Engineering and IT Learning Precinct. Yeah. Wait, so, so where's the salary? Um, well, they only need it for like a few weeks a semester. Yeah. So I think they're just going to book rooms for when the IDS is starting to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, we've got 500 ish incoming. Yes. Where's the outgoing? Because the balance hasn't really changed. Oh, I thought it's a solid thing, sorry. Um, no, no, it hasn't, sorry. Um, the, the bank account, it says bank account balance, yes. whereas the money's actually petty cash. 
So it hasn't been deposited in the bank. Sorry. Yeah. So, so you see, income has you gone. Do. Okay, so petty cash has gone from zero up to four seven. Yeah, because there was no petty. Like petty cash was deposited at the end of last year. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Next one. Um. Well, how long is uh, an election going to take? I think with there being no. Contention. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So, is anyone being in any position? Yeah. Yeah. We're chaining off as a person for this year. Okay. Uh, do we have any other nominations for president other than Brenton, who's been seconded? For president? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. Smith. So we can then say that Brenton is now the president? Yeah. 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 Uh, I have nominated Jen I've nominated Jenny every year. <laughs> I am a nomination time. Jenny, I nominate you for vice president. I accept the nomination. Thank you. Fuck! I said this Four years in a row you denied my nomination. Okay, that's been seconded. Do we have any other nominations? Cool. Jenny is now the new vice president. Oh, is president the new president? Yeah, he's president. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speech with pizza. Speech with pizza. 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 Speech with pizza. Do people rather a speech now? No. No. Just say golden. We can toast to it. Actually, what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I want to continue working with Shri, figuring out how we can actually get weekly meetings and stuff going. I think the main issue the current executives have is we often have a lot of reliance on people that were active in Proxmoc back where we had the room, and that's kind of drying up. Like I think there are people like you know in third year and stuff that they would never deal with the room was around. So I think it's important for succession planning that we have events and people interested in society that don't really know about the room, maybe don't care about it. So I think yeah, for succession planning, we just need to get these events going, drive some new interest for future exec members. That's my main goal to make sure the society can continue to run. Yep. Are we going to have to be a what? Yes. Well, they seem to be low effort, so the super low effort and Pat Cat's king. Yeah. Well, if we, yeah, as long as I've got contact with him, we'll try and get one of them. Right. Probably sometime next year. Virtual reality night. What does that mean? That well, year? just basically a technology showcase, I guess, that the lot drinks, needs some maybe, uh, some good technology. Yeah. He comes in, tells us how it works, and then yeah. let's play with it. Does someone bring in to, on loan some stuff? That is stuff. It's, it's yeah. his stuff. Oh, he okay. he well, wants people well, interested well. in VR because people interested in VR is good for his business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is his business, though? Like, wasn't he a blogger? He's a blogger about VR. Okay. <laughs> VR. Okay, well. That was keen to bring his stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> and we were keen to drink his price. I imagine that we will talk infinitely after all the nominations are done. Yeah. yeah. Well, right. Jenny, what are you going to do? Uh, I'll support the president, which is going to Yeah. Um, whenever he cannot make to your events or, or something else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, secretary. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else for secretary? Yeah, he's uh, accepted on the mailing list. It's a really last minute thing, and yeah. he wasn't actually able to attend tonight. But he used he the monospace actually... font. That's a good sign. What? Use the monospace font. It's a good yeah. sign. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't. I don't. Not like so. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I didn't realize this was a thing. I just use whatever email file. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, that was a secretary. No. Cool. Alex, that is our secretary. Uh, nomination for treasurer. Treasurer? Mm -hmm. I'll nominate Sebastian. Does, does no one else want to do it? I'll, I'll happily accept it if no one wants to do it. I check it, you think? I can't think. <laughs> Um, do I need to... Yeah, you have to accept. Yeah, okay, I accept. Sure. <laughs> um, does, do I need to say anything, or...? Do you like, do you like spending or saving? I don't know. What's, What's the fiscal stuff? Stuff? I'm definitely about saving. Labor or liberal? <laughs> 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 okay, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Stay clear away from it. Uh, <laughs> why don't we change the economic policy? <laughs> um, I have a question for you. 
Get out of the treasure, by the way. I have a question for you. <laughs> yeah. I have all the petty cash. I'm going to get it. So, uh, oh my gosh. No, I want to take it. <laughs> no, that's so, you to, I think we have to deposit this cash as part of the handover. <laughs> this cash is full of like cash and coins, right? No, no it's all cash. It's all cash? Bitcoin. If it's in Bitcoin, that was oh. the start of the year. The society would be rich. Yes. <laughs> what did we do? Maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's the best game for next year. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking though, we should have like cross or coin. Yeah. Yeah. Can the society invest in Bitcoin? Yeah. There's nothing stopping us, right? Yeah, nothing at all. There you go, trust me, you gotta go. Like your mission is rich. Your mission on Bitcoin. There's no more. Someone should. We have to be the one. Just for Bitcoin. Uh, Chris has already been nominated for CSO. I nominate Chris. Do we have any other nominations for CSO? Chris, you're going to have a CSO. Which Chris? Hi. <laughs> Look, we have no idea who this is right now, but it's done. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I hope I put everyone's names still correctly and everything. Alright, actually. Alright, um, we now have a new exec. I will uh, bring up my document as I said. And everybody, please eat some food. Yeah. Yeah.